Hey y'all, iRick Sky here, and within this video I'm going to explain how loose a wristwatch bracelet should be. Now this is a matter of personal preference, and I wear, first of all, I wear my wristwatch right, there's the little bone right there on my arm, and I wear it between that and my wrist. Now when I do that, and again, matter of personal preference, but what I always do when I size my wristwatches, I want them to look, you know, I want them to look fitted, but you don't want them so tight that they're leaving marks on your wrist. If you got marks on your wrist, your watch is too tight. As a rule of thumb, what I do, I always get it fitted and then I stick my pinky through there. If I can stick my pinky between the bracelet and my wrist, then there's enough room for me. And you can see right here, if I kind of pull this down, uh, you'll be able to see there's a little bit of, you know, again, well, I demonstrated that. I stuck my, stuck my pinky in there. So if I can stick my pinky in there, that's enough. And, and just to to provide another example of another uh, timepiece here, I'll provide the, uh, the uh, let's see, this is the older one right here. This is a Omega Seamaster 300M, and, and it's a, the one I just had on was a 40 millimeter. This is a 41, and you'll see the same holds true. See, I've got room for my pinky. So that's always been my preference. You know, any, any of my timepieces, that if I can put, uh, if I, when it's, when the bracelet is, is engaged, if I can put my pinky in there, it's enough. But you don't, the, the thing is, if you, if you wear a watch and it's too loose on your wrist, what'll happen is that if you turn your wrist, the watch is going to go over here, it's going to go over here, it may flip all the way around to the back. So, you know, you want something that when it's on, again, you know, do that pinky check if you want to do it like I do it, and then just kind of, you know, flip your wrist around and make sure that, yeah, I mean, it's going to move a little bit. That's fine. And that shows that it's not too tight. But, you know, you want it to where it's tight enough to where this thing isn't just going to be able to, as you, you know, go about your day, that your dial is not going to end up on your palm. Because <laughs> that looks really dumb, in my opinion. And some people may like that. You know, some people may like to wear a watch uh, very loosely on their wrist and, and that's perfectly acceptable. But again, as a rule of thumb, or I should say a rule of pinky, always make sure that when my wristwatch is on, that I can stick my pinky in there. And actually this one is a little bit more tight than the two uh, tool watches that I had. And part of that too, then the reason that's the case is that typically when I'm wearing this, this is more of a dress watch. Uh, so when I'm wearing it, I'm typically not hot and sweaty and, and you're, uh, you know, your, the temperature fluctuations can make your wrist expand or contract. And for, for that reason, I leave a little bit more space in my tool, for my tool watches than I do for my dress watches. So I hope this video provided value. If it did, be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. And if you're looking for pre-owned wrist watches, check out timepieces for tomorrow.com. You can find a link to timepiecesfortomorrow.com within this video's description. And uh, you know, keep in mind that it's uh, it's not always just the watch, it's also how it fits. You know, fit is just as important as how good the watch looks because you can have a you can have the best watch in the world, but if it's if it's not fitted to your wrist properly, then uh, you know, that's, that's not going to be good. And, and we're going to do one more thing within this video. The three that I demonstrated so far were bracelets. But if you're using, if you're using say, a rubber strap, um, I'm going to show you how I do that. So this one right here is just a buckle clasp. So it doesn't have the plant. It's just a little buckle. But with it, with rubber, I may, and see, I've still got my, my little pinky check. I can stick my pinky in there. I may wear rubber a little bit, uh, well, sometimes I may wear it a little bit tighter than the, than the bracelets if I'm wearing a, a rubber strap uh, that I intend to swim with. Now, obviously, with this particular piece, I will swim with it, and, you know, it being rubber, that's suitable for getting in the water. So, you know, I may, uh, I may just like I did with the two examples earlier of... Uh, of uh, bracelet watches that are that are to be swam with, I left a little bit more space. Now, if I'm doing something like a leather strap that I will not swim with, obviously, you know, you wouldn't want to swim with 
with uh, leather, but if I'm using a leather strap, and this one right here has a, uh, has a deployant clasp, so with it, you know, it's already pre-fitted to my, to my wrist. But again, like my dress watch that I was talking about, because this is leather, it's a little bit tighter. I don't necessarily have as much room for my pinky. So again, personal preference, and you can see here with all of these watches, if I twist my wrist, they're not going to the side or they're not going down to, my, to the bottom of my wrist. You know, you don't, you, you don't want that. And again, everybody's got their own preferences, but these are just my recommendations for, uh, for how loose or how tight to wear a wristwatch. Hope this video provided value. Again, subscribe if you haven't already, youtube.com forward slash irixguy. Ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. And uh, check out timepiecesfortomorrow.com if you're looking for uh, pre-owned timepieces. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. And ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.